Sorry it's been so long, I always, the obligatory need to record more videos, um, but I wanted to do a short clip of going over the assembly line in action. So it's probably really loud and hard to hear, um, but that's kind of the nature of it. So we are currently running these LED boards. The video that I did on the high current LED board, that's what, or uh, motherboard, that's what drives these. So it's nine individual LED boards in a single panel. Um, they have mostly red LEDs and then it has nine IRs each. Uh, they go into a uh, medical lighting system. And this is Chris. He works in the assembly line, um, cleaning up the feeders right now because they get a bunch of tag ends on it. So basically, the process now, we will take a board, if I can grab it. Put it into the printer. And then start it. And the board goes into the printer and it applies the paste on the stencil. And sorry if there's a really big glare, it's shining through a piece of plastic. And then once it comes out of the printer, it goes into this conveyor, which then gets fed into the pick and place, which is already populating a board that had pasted on it before. And we use three reels of red LEDs and one of the IRs, so we don't have to replace the reds as often. And then here's a fully populated board. Once it's on this conveyor, we go through and do a full visual inspection and then pass it through. And it gets fed into the turning conveyor. Which then goes into the oven. And on the pick and place, we can have a visual indicator of every part that gets placed, as well as how many boards an hour we're doing, and then the error percentage. So the error percentage is including the three times when it runs out of a part and has to re-pick it up, so it's not actually very accurate. And then when the boards come out of the oven, they drop onto the chute, which then go over here which are tested, every board is functionally tested with a power supply and we have a webcam that's been modified to be able to see IR so you can see them really easily. Now I'm going to jump ahead to when we're testing that. So once the boards come out of the oven and they are cooled down, we test them on here. And you can't see from this camera probably very well, but this webcam has it modified to CIR, so you can tell the different colors for reds versus IR. So every board gets functional tested, and then from here, every board gets uh, labeled with a unique serial number, and then they are vacuum sealed in this machine. Oh, and this is the panel of the control boards that were in that other video. So each one of the LED boards here are combined into different channels, which then are powered from these right here, and it's controlled by a uh, touchscreen display. So we do four of those at a time, uh, instead of nine like we do on the LED panels. So after they're serialized, they go into a uh, humidity and static shielded bag, which we throw some desiccant in, and then Thanks for the explanation of the desiccant. <laughs> and then it goes into the uh, vacuum sealer, which if it's happy, it'll work. If not, you have to play around with it a little bit. And it vacuum seals it, and then we'll heat 
seal them there. And once those are all sealed up, they go onto our board cart, which then goes into the uh, front office where we will package them. And then this is how the boards come out onto the ramp and then start the testing and then the packaging again. All right, it's later in the day now. Uh, we're finished up with all of the boards. Uh, today we ran, I believe, 38 uh, individual panels. We have some of them boxed up, about boxed up that are going out today, and the rest we have to finish and send out uh, later this week. So that's pretty much all I have for this video. I just wanted to give a, a little overview of the assembly line in action, and I do have some ideas for uh, some project videos coming up. Uh, most of them are based around different like test jigs and uh, testing devices for the assembly line and hopefully we'll be able to get those uh, finished up and do a video on them pretty soon. But I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching.